It doesn't take just one person or one thing to become a champion. To be a champion is to work as a team, to work in harmony, to work as one. My name is Gina Bendixen and I'm a Walter from Team Denmark. My name is Lasse Christens. I'm a coach and a launcher for our Team Denmark. A champion walking horse, he needs to be brave. He still has to be, we always say here, needs to be a horse that can do Aachen. And Aachen is because there's a lot of pressure in there. It doesn't matter if you have a horse with a lot of quality, a huge gait, you have to be able to run four rounds in there to make a safe horse for the Walter. So he needs a lot to be able to love to go in there, that need to be brave, but also not lazy. Has to be a horse that want to go forward, want to go in there and be sensible as, at the same time. I really like the horse uh, because you have this uh, connection with the horse and you get, you know, some, something, you're building something together. So you really have, you know, the trust between the horse and the people. And I really like this part of that. Uh, so it's really special to make this bond. In, in order to create trust with the horse, it starts in, in the stable, it starts in the daily work, start feeding at night, you, 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 know, you build up this connection. So at the end of the day, that horse chooses to run through fire with you. That's actually the key to build up that connection. In our saying here to create that champion horse and going in, it is always first we create the horse, then the vaulter has a chance. And we take that through our warm-up. That maybe says, maybe Sheena wants to do a lot of tests, a lot of things up, but we only do that when he is ready for it. And then we create a good balance for both of them. Before big competition, I practice a lot. Uh, so I actually start early in the morning, five o'clock, and start my fitness. Uh, so I'm strong and healthy and be fast you know, and then I practice a lot on the barrel. And after that, I of course practice two times per week on the horse. And yeah, I will PMI like that. I have a great team. I have, uh, you know, Lasse, it's uh, my coaching and my launcher. And then I have uh, Julia, she rides the horses. We're working together and we have actually working together 12 years. So we have built all this trust up together and we know exactly how we feel and what we have to say. It's really important with communication uh, so we understand what we want, you know, what, what lesson need and what I need and what you need and of course the horse, because it's really important. Of course it's a, it's a, a horse board so we have to take care of the horse. It's rule number one, and then the other people coming number two. A champion vaulting horse and an athlete is where you find this connection between, and now we're going to add in the lunger, of course, which I, <laughs> no, but you know, that three angle, the way we understand each other. So it's, it's a feeling with that fine connection that the vaulter has to trust the horse to, for the next stride. So if you're jumping really high, you need to trust that horse is going to be where you expect it to be and that is the lunge stop to make that. So it's a long trust area, and sometimes I have had really good balls and take me half a year to, for them to trust me not to do it in the wrong second. So I think it's, it's a long connection of that, the vaulting horse, the, the vaulter, but sometimes it's also the horse needs to trust the vault that this is okay. You know, you're doing, you're flying around because they never sit still, the, you know, there, there, there and they need to be able to carry and trust that the vaulter is not doing anything they need to be afraid of.